looking for my Taurus. I'm a Taurus moon and I know all the damn positives and negatives to our sign. Please help your girl out and hit that like button. I'm been a, I've been a tarot reader for about four years. So take what you can and leave the rest. Tarot <clears throat> is something very dear to me. So we're just going to get into the energies of the person that is on your mind. And this is a timeless reading. Oh, I'm seeing for some of you it's a Virgo. Okay, stuck. Someone could be in jail or not making any move or you feel stuck about this situation. Hermit, this is you. I mean, um, Herfit, this is your energy. So it could be another Taurus. Okay, let's take these three energies for right now. Okay, so what I get is if you look at this energy, someone is like, somebody can be feeling alone. You could feel like there's a snake. Or somebody you can't trust or you feel like that's what people think of you because you do have this snake here it looks like a fucking fake snake it's like somebody not even being real with the shit they think you're dumb and it's like come on now <laughs> like if anybody can control the material worlds of the earth and they know how people act in their makeup it's going to be a Taurus. we're also ruled by venus okay so we know if the love is real or not and I'm seeing that you're, you know, you're fine. You're, you putting the light on their ass. It's like, I see you, you know, then I'm seeing someone acting stupid, trying to act blind to the situation. And that can be for some tourists, but for the most part, it's not. This is, this can be that person because it's like, damn, you on clouds, but you in hell. You feel like things are jolly and I, I don't see it, but that's because you don't see me looking at you. You want to remain dumb to it. It's like he got his light. Okay. It's like the Taurus got their light. Flashing on how stuck these people really are. It's like you're coming into a realization that these motherfuckers are the one holding me back. Okay. And now look at you. Okay. You're in your energy. You're all my Taurus energy. The energy of the teacher, the healers, the workers, the nurturers. Okay. You know, this is also meaning counseling for someone, teachers. Okay, it's like you having to teach they at teach they as a hard not life lesson. Let's go ahead and get into this energy. What happened? Not my tourist though. Somebody was you found out some sneaky shit. And now they're trapped. Some of you feel like you're trapped on how to deal with the situation. I know you have definitely expressed it took you a long time to really deal with the situation look you found out their secrets the moon pisces energy as well uh, with this moon energy you can see there's a black figure in here so it could be a third party for some of you or just some sneaky shit you thought it was just you two and look at this shit dwelling in your subconscious which means water underneath a lot of you already had this intuitive feeling about this person so you might have water in your chart or sag but I'm saying you already kind of felt like something wasn't right. Something was hidden. But look, you put that light on their ass. Okay, it came to you put that light on their ass, honey. No more darkness for me. Let's see. Yeah, it's justice. For some of you, somebody's in jail or they're going to jail. Could be court, legal, because you got the eight of swords like they're, um, you know, surrounded. But then you have the justice. So for some of you, yeah, this person is definitely getting their consequences or it can be it can be related to different things. But that's because that's their energy. So if you are messing with a jailbird, don't be upset when they come and do some shit to you. This is not for everybody. Some of you I'm seeing you are getting out of jail. You're getting out of a time where you felt stuck. You're coming out of that. OK, your karma was rendered. I'm seeing now. um <clears throat> It's like you're putting your sword up. Sword represents clarity. It represents cutting things out. It represents cutting a motherfucker out your life. I'm saying for a lot of you, you are cutting these people out or you already have. Then we have the Gemini energy, the lovers. Oh, for some of you, this was someone you're married to or you could be married now or it could be about their past relationships. We're going to go ahead and get into some energy. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Tell me about the energy, okay, of this isolation. 
Oh, for some of you, they ghosted you. Damn. I'm saying some of you ghosted them. Um, or they feel left behind, alone, disappeared. Also, like I said before, a third party. So it's coming up giving verification. Why is this justice legal? Couldn't move. Why is this energy here? Why is this energy here? Okay. Ooh, for some of you, I'm seeing STD, secret, same sex, deceit, liar, self destructive, dark energy, promiscuous, spell backfire. And that's, I'm seeing that's a lot. They try to do some spells, some evil outdoor wishing you darkness, and it came back on their ass. Some of them went to jail for it, and they have some abandonment issues. That's why they don't want to move. Oh, this is getting spicy for the Taurus. Okay, and the lovers. Let's see. Awaken. Healing. It makes so much sense. Let me go put this down a little bit more so y'all can get this energy. Okay. So we have awakening, healing, seeing true self, love, loving self, understanding, acceptance, free will, divinely guided. You are divinely guided, Taurus. This is meant to happen. Honey, your energies, your guides, your ancestors, anything to that notion, lifted your ass out of that situation for your greatest good. You have earth angels on your side. And a lot of you, Taurus, are earth angels. And the reason why I say that is because you're ruled by Venus and you are earth sign. So a lot of you are earth angels. And sometimes you have to see your truest power by going through bullshit to really understand that. And if you are alone, Taurus, don't feel like you're in this low vibration or there's no love because the sun rots alone every day for the last billion years and it still gets shit done. Still everything evolves around it, okay? You are loved, Taurus. Trust me. A lot of people look up to you. A lot of people dream they have the energy or the, the you know, the talents that you have. You are a beautiful person inside and out. And don't you forget that. And you don't take no shit. And you are a hard worker. And you about your money. So these people are really feeling left behind and ghosted. Even if they did ghost your ass, they feel they're not feeling 100%. This can be a woman or a mother or have a woman or a mother um, have to do with this situation. Let's see. STDs, set, secret sex set, set, set life. It's a karmic partner for you. Um, trauma bond, hard to leave, very codependent. I'm seeing a lot of you did leave with these swords. Let's see. Oh, they were seeking pleasures, trying to dim your lights. Once you below them, competing, okay, needs a um, needs validation, throwing you under the bus. Yeah, I'm seeing you. You're seeing that energy clearly now, and that a lot of you are going to come into the notion that it wasn't you. <laughs> it wasn't me. I thought I saw you cheating. It wasn't me. I thought I saw you creeping. It wasn't me because it has nothing to do with you. That's their own energy. Okay? That's their own energy. Let's get some more energy from this. From this person in your journey. Okay? For my tours. The Wheel of Fortune. Things are turning in your favor. And they feel quite ghosted, okay? Look, six of pentacles, giving, giving, giving. Some of y'all getting promotions. Some of y'all living up. Y'all be getting that income tax, honey. Some of them are very mad because they ain't getting shit. Oh, look at this. Hanging man stuck, sacrificing. Look, some of you going to have to sacrifice a little bit of money in order to put into your investments, real estate and stuff like that, that will pay, um, that will pay out handsomely, okay? Let's get some more energy. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, shit. Look, three cards came out. Let me take one of those. Woo, King of Wands. Some of y'all definitely get into y'all coins. This is energy. This is Mojo Jojo. Some of y'all looking really good, really attractive. With that Venus sign, some of y'all looking really attractive. Even if you kind of chubby, honey, you still look beautiful. Um... <clears throat> In good shape, okay? Some of y'all like sports or playing in sports for a few. Let's go ahead. Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Okay. 
five of cups look so I'm mad that you're not giving them no more you used to really take care of these people you used to give honey they're not receiving that anymore they're very fucked up about that like I said before some of them if they did give you an STD honey they're regretting that they feel ashamed stupid because they probably got one back that's for a select few page of wines yes now it's time for your next adventure some of you are already in a relationship some of you are going to be in a relationship soon or you're going to be you know talking to people rendezvous let's go ahead and get the love energy that's coming up for my Taurus. okay what is the love energy coming up oh we see attraction so someone is very attracted to you you attract romantic love by enjoying the movement fully living in the moment not needing shit because you are venus you are love so that shit comes to you very easily Look, past life relationship. Oh, so someone from the past could definitely be thinking about you. Or you feel, you're going to feel a intense connection with someone. It's going to seem like you know them before. But pay attention to the red flags. There are signs cautioning you as well. And just know that you are very intuitive and good shit always come to you. Pleasure shit. Make sure you don't really get caught in procrastinating and being lazy. Okay, let's get a... Uh, a card from our your ancestors, your higher self. All right, take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's see. We have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. It's time for you to heal. Things are changing. You already have the will of fortune. Things are turning into your favor. You best to believe it. Some of y'all been alone. You're not about to be alone anymore. Um, some people are definitely trying to come back around in this retro retrograde. You are star mother. Okay, it says, how can you mother yourself? Put yourself first. Put yourself first. Stop always helping people and being there for other people that can't be there for you, damn it. And you know you are like that, Taurus. Okay, let's see what chakras we can work on for this energy to have your best benefit. Oh, throat chakra. It's about the communication for me. I communicate openly and honestly to express my thoughts and feelings clearly. I share my inner knowledge freely with integrity, integrity and without fear. My aim is to be fully understood by others. I am open to giving and receiving praise and I will be careful not to talk excessively and make it all about me. I create space in my conversations for others to communicate with me. I inquire about others' thoughts and feelings as listening to their truth can be uplifting. Woo! So that's the fifth chakra, the third chakra communication. So you might have to start expressing yourself and communicating about these feelings that you have about how this person fucked you over. And that's okay. Also, I'm seeing that you can be someone who people can also um, find it easy to communicate with you because you're a solid foundation you are the rock you are the mother earth okay so other people are definitely going to be coming up to you ask for your advice needing your support and i'm saying don't forget how to mother you don't take on too much energy okay because things are transforming for you and people around you okay um there are someone who there is someone who's very attracted or you're just going to seem to attract good luck coming up. There is a past life relationship. People in the past could be thinking about you. Or you're going to find someone where you feel deeply connected to. And then just pay attention to the red flag. Sometimes pay attention to how you think and what you let slide. Okay. But I know my tourists don't let shit slide like that. All right. Good business energy. You got your mojo, mojo Jojo back. You better be looking fine. I'm seeing that some people are regretting that they let their stuff go. And some people are regretting that you let them go. It is new starts and new beginnings for you as well. I'm seeing Wheel of Fortune. Things are coming in your favor. That you're going to get promotion. Things are going to be given to you. It's going to seem like it's coming out of the sky. Friends definitely going to be supportive. You might have to sacrifice time or money or investment to get what you want. Okay. And then I'm seeing it's a woman or mother here that's in this energy, a karmic partner. I'm seeing people like to seek pleasure, try to dim your light, competing with you, but all that shit don't matter. Okay, someone could have same sex, liar, self-destructed, dark energy, promiscuous, a hoe, bad health. You know I'm seeing they feel like you ghosted them or they ghosted you. But hey, this has you in an awakening. You're healing. You're seeing your true self. You're loving yourself. You're understanding. You're accepting. So all they did was help you out at the end. Okay, I'm seeing there was secrets or illusion. Things were not as they're seen. But hey, they got justice for this shit. Okay, 
Trust me, they are getting their karma for this, okay? I'm seeing a lot of you are going to be in a relationship really soon with this lover's energy, okay? Then I'm seeing a lot of you, some of you might be getting married or engaged with this hierophant. Could be, like I said, people look at you as a teacher, as a spiritual guide. So a lot of you can definitely be getting closer to your spiritual self, okay? You might have a beautiful voice or you have good taste in food. A lot of y'all can cook. Um, I'm seeing this person could be in jail or going through a time where they feel stuck and it had you putting that light on their ass to reveal these motherfuckers was holding me back, okay? And if this energy resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. This has been another Divine Honesty.